Hey guys, it's Dan and Lizzie from Till Beer Do Us Part, and we've got another beer review for you. Unfortunately, we had a little bit of technical difficulties with our first trial of filming this video, so we've already tasted this beer and said what we thought. And now and we then, have to do it again. And now we're going to do it again. So we already poured this beer, we've already tasted and sniffed, but we're just going to kind of walk you through that process again and tell you what we thought of this. So the beer we have for today is The Meddler. And that is an Ode Brewing Ale, uh, not old, Ode, O -E I think I put it on our Instagram as old, sorry guys. Uh, it is from Odell Brewing Company in Fort Collins, Colorado. And I don't exactly, didn't exactly know what a Brewing Ale was before this, so my, my estimation was that this was a sour type ale. Uh, as we got into tasting, we ended up finding that it is true, so yeah. uh, on the initial pour, uh, pour is really nice actually, mm -hmm. uh, but it's kind of got that, you know, it's got the, uh, more of the, the cork, it's got the cork top on it, so it, it pours a little bit like a kind of like a champagne, very very bubbly at first, but it dies off quickly. Yeah, I had about maybe half a finger worth of head at the beginning, but quickly gone. And as you can see, there is no head on our beer now to speak of. Uh, so color wise, we've got a very uh, nice brown color, maybe a tinge of red, a little orangey. Uh, it is it. definitely not a filtered beer. It's no. very opaque, very cloudy, and there is definitely some particles of of the of, stuff of the brewing process that are still left over for us to enjoy, I guess. Yeah. So let's re-sniff. And we thought uh, it definitely smelled like a sour. It definitely smells like a sour. That's, um, that's but it's not your typical. Um, not your typical sour smell. Like it's sour and it smells sweet as well, but not your typical sweet either and we I you know looking back I think that has to do with the fact that this also does have some malt to it um, and when we did our initial taste we were able to pick up on that as well so now we've actually probably been drinking this for 10 minutes uh, even though you haven't seen it and uh, I think our my taste buds at least have become a little bit accustomed to the to the sourness of it and you really do start to get a little bit more of the extra flavor that it describes in the bottle. Um, and neither one of us are big sour drinkers. Like that's not usually our go-to beer. I know I had a really bad experience with the first sour I ever tried. It was terrible. So I just kind of assumed they were all like that until I recently got a flight of sours and realized, hey, these aren't so bad. Um, but yeah, not like our go-to beer. No. Uh, yeah, we went, so on our honeymoon about a year ago, we went to, Asheville, North Carolina, and Asheville has a brewery called Wicked Weed, which many of you may have heard of before. It's pretty pretty popular in, in Asheville, but they also have a secondary brewing com uh, location in Asheville called the Funkatorium, which does a ton of sour ales. In fact, I think it only does sour ales. I think so too. We, we wanted to go there, but we didn't quite make it, and at that time too, it's kind of like the place with only sour ales. Yeah. So, but if we ever go back, we definitely have to go. So sour beers, in my opinion, are kind of an emerging style. They've been around for a while, of course, but they've definitely picked up popularity in the last couple of years, maybe. Maybe even less than that. Maybe only two or three years at the most. Um, but I don't think I have a very accustomed palate. If I sound like a beer snob, I don't really think I'm very accustomed to, to sours or a, a brew and ale, really. Um, so. It's definitely got some complex flavors that I... You know, maybe our palates aren't quite as trained to pick up on, but it's complex. Yeah. Oh, and then we, we want to reread yeah. what so the description was. The description was, and this is before we, we even really knew what the old, old Bruin style is. Old Bruin. Uh, so, quoting. A resurrected style from the Flemish region of Belgium, the Medler Old Bruin, is a crafty concoction pr com comprised of several generations of brown ales, barrel aged, and blended. Wild yeast and lactobacillus metal with the brew for over 18 months, creating complexity and depth of flavor. Hints of malty sweet chocolate and vanilla toy with a hauntingly sour finish. Intricate yet balanced, the meddler will leave you craving for more of this mysterious brew. I can't get over that hauntingly sour. That's just such an odd description. I don't know if I, it's sour. I don't think I'd say it's hauntingly sour. I definitely think that it was very sour at first. In fact, it was something that I probably wouldn't 
have continued to drink a lot if of. If it stayed that sour. But I think as you drink it. a couple of the, like take a couple of sips, you kind of get used to it and then it settles in and you really get some of those, the, the malty beginning for sure. It still has a sour finish. It's not, it's not going to change. Um, I do think since it's warmed up a little bit, I can kind of taste that little bit of the, the sweet and of chocolate and vanilla. Yeah, I think the chocolate is there. I have a really tough time with the vanilla, but... It's there. Don't worry. Okay. Um, oh, I think we did mention this is a 8.6% beer. Um, nice big bomber. We definitely like the size. We were able to pour fo two full glasses. Yeah, of this, um, of this porter style glass. So, come on. So anyway, um... Come on up. My birthday was about a week ago, uh, before we filmed the last mm. video, I guess, and uh, we learned, I learned, have learned quite a bit about beer and different kinds of beer, so I'm probably going to have to skip ahead in some books that Lizzie got me about beer. Well, one is the Beer Bible, the other one is a beer course book. Uh, I'll skip ahead, see if I can find a little bit more on what brewing ales actually are, and maybe give you a good update on the, on the, next, uh, on the next video on what I learned about that. So. Alright, well... Um, until next time, we're Till Beer Do Us Part, and we'll see you around. Bye! Bye, guys. This is, uh, this is getting better. Ooh! Ooh! I'm hauntingly sour! Ooh! I can't drink my beer like this, though.